I already started looking at the first two episodes, but I want to kind of give readers um, a sense of what you feel the season will start for you, for your character, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and how it's going to progress. Well, I mean, Holly is dealing with repercussions of bashing the man's head in, so there's that, but there's also the juxtaposition of that she's coming into herself and kind of blossoming as a person who feels a newfound confidence, and she's taking over, a, well, she started a business with Hodges, so it's kind of an exciting and also strange time that she's living with the fact that she just committed this violent act at the same time as kind of like coming into her own. So you'll have to see where that leads. Holly's such an interesting character. Um, what type of research did you do to kind of get in that mindset? Well, I um, have a friend who does kind of behavioral therapy work with people who um, have autism, and Holly is on the spectrum. Um, so I talked a lot with her, and I also uh, read a good amount about it, and I also went on to YouTube, and like, it's kind of amazing how many, it's really wild how many people um, create videos just about their lives and so there are people talking about stemming and how they're, they're coping me mechanisms and there's kind of like this amazing support um, team of people online that talk about what it's like having autism so I watched a lot of those videos as well and then um, to be honest Stephen King gives like a very beautiful description of this character um, in the book so I tried to pay very close attention to that and the scripts also were written in a way where you kind of heard the way that she spoke which is unlike the way that other people speak so I had this like weird toolbox of stuff that I got to draw on to help me through aside from bashing a guy's head in of yeah. course what do you think Holly's greatest strength is she has she's oh god there's so many can I give a few absolutely <laughs> okay she's I'm in love with this character <laughs> she's very thoughtful She's compassionate. Um, she's curious. Um, she's really unfiltered. She doesn't have some of the same like ways of a protecting herself, but also like inhibiting herself from the world. So she's very honest. Um, there's so many qualities about her that I really love and also was inspired by. She's definitely like an, ins an inspiring character to live with for a while. So, yeah. <laughs> this is seen in the first episode of season two. Yeah. Where all you need to <laughs> stem. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, how much, I was like, did you improvise on to do that? No, I didn't. I, um, it's written in there that she has to find a way to cool down and square breathing is something is a, a technique that um, helps uh, people with autism cope when they're having moments like that so that was what that was yeah. So yeah. You, you came up with is that, that what you're talking about? yes exactly I don't want to throw too much in there but yeah. like how she kind of calms herself down yeah, and yeah. independent yeah. now yeah. a little more yeah yeah, she's fine. She's found, I mean, she always had you kind of there's this, this stemming. Um, and that was in season one. She did that a lot. Yeah, so that um, is something that helps the, the contact things with like tactical comfort is um, something that is relied upon in terms of like calming down. Um, and square breathing was another one that I actually talked to this, my friend. It was actually a friend from high school who works with people with autism. And, um, she had told me about this technique that she taught. So that was, yeah, one of the things that I thought would be great. 
I know that you and Hodges now have the detective business. Do you, yeah. Does your character still look at him as kind of like a mentor? Well, that's an exciting part of the next season. Okay. Their dynamic shifts in a way that I was like really interested in. Um, reading it, reading the scripts, I love seeing all these kind of new ways that they have of dealing with each other. They, he allows her to be herself. Um, and feel comfortable being herself. So with that comes shifts, and you know, I'm. If you watch the first two episodes, you can already tell that she kind of feels like she can stand up to him in certain ways that are different, and she does look up to him, and he's helping her out in ways, and he, she's helping him out in ways. It's a really special relationship, and like with any good intimate relationship, people kind of like face their weird shit and their, you know, shadow sides, so you see that in does the bulldog come back? No. <laughs> I didn't want to say, but no. The bulldog has been retired. I think he did its job, and now it's like, I need to go cool it for a while. Yeah. Well, uh, your character is very physical in terms of, you know, takes and stuff. So how, how do you prepare yourself as an actor? You have, have to be conscious not only of the work, but only of the physicality. Yeah. So it, it's, you have to be aware of where the hands are. Yeah. Where, whereas maybe other actors can just put their hands down and that's it. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know what to say about that because I kind of just slipped into it. Like, weirdly, I think just thinking about her and imagining her and from my audition tape, I, there were just things that inherently came when I had, like, with the information that I was given. I just kind of imagined her up and then once I found my way into that, like, the way that she holds herself in her little mouth stuff and her hand and her feet, it kind of like was something that was easy to edge into every time. I had to remind myself, of course, but um, but it wasn't it wasn't something that I had to like do too much mental work to get into. Once I found it, yeah, yeah. If you yourself had your brothers, yeah. what one action would you have to help take in this new season? Ooh. It's hard because she really does. <laughs> she really does come into her own. So, so there's things that happen that I think are really. Um, that I was like happy and satisfied to see. I think just being herself and feeling comfortable being herself, which is something that she's edging into. But I think I would just say, go girl! Like you, like she's so fantastic and special that I just wanna. I would just wanna give her like that push to keep on being herself and being open about it and not ashamed of it. And that's something I would wish for any, you know, just, just to feel like at ease and in love with the person that you are and own it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you met Stephen King? I have. <laughs> Do you have any I, questions from him about your character? I didn't, you know, he was really sweet. He I met him on my first day of work. And he was actually an extra that day in the first season. Did you guys watch the first season? There's a moment where he has a hatchet in his yeah, yeah, he's in the, yeah. So I met him and he was like, Oh, nice to meet you. And then someone was like, Oh, Justine's playing Holly. And he goes, I love Holly. Oh, no pressure. I know. And I was like, And I hope that I am okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry in advance. Um, but yeah, it was so sweet and sorry, but we have to wrap now to move to the next it's like he's in here. can't. Don't let him Am I in your dream?